In this Fuser tutorial video, you will learn how to use the Path system. Through Path creation, you can place content from Fuser library in a quick way. In Fuser, you can add equipment, pedestrians, vehicles, and trees to make your construction simulation lively and so that it can replicate the real world. So the first objective is to add construction workers to the construction site. Second is to add pedestrians on the sidewalk. And the third is to add public vehicles on the road. So first objective, let's add a construction worker here on the construction site. So go to more options and search for paths. Then select pedestrians, then click create path. Then we want the starting point to be here. Left mouse click. And then for each node, click again. Then here, until inside the building. Then click again. Press escape when you're done. Now when we want to automatically add the pedestrians, you can click on the yellow pin and the path settings will appear. And before we add the construction worker to the path, here are the path settings. For example, if you want to delete the path, then click delete path. Then if you want to remove the yellow pin only, then click delete node, for example. If you want to delete a segment, which is the line between two nodes, then click Delete Segment. Delete Sections deletes the whole section. Then this disables a whole linear section of the path. Here you can see it turns gray. Export to file means you can export the path to an E and V file. So here, Add Parent Node means the preceding node. For example, click here. Then click Add Parent Node, so it will add a node here. Then here, when you insert node in segment, it will add a node in the middle. And Child Node means the following node. So for this pin, click Add Child Node, and it will add a segment here. You can also move the node, click Move Node. And you can reverse the path, so it's going to this side, you can reverse it. And you can also move the whole path. Then before I explain these two, let's first add a construction worker on the path. Let's select construction, then select the male construction worker with no tools. Click populate. So the speed and position randomness allows for a slight difference of the speed and position of the construction workers. But we want only one construction worker to walk here, so we can change the approximate number to spawn to 1. Then click Repopulate. Then to remove this construction worker from the path, press Clear All. If I want to select them, press Select All. And for Add to Task, this is for adding it to the 4D simulation. Then for Speed Control, this is how fast the construction workers will walk. For example, for the path, let's change it to 5.0 kilometers per hour. Click Populate. So the segment will also change. And you can also add construction worker on the path manually. So go to Content Library and search for construction worker. Click on the thumbnail. Click again. Then place it on the path until it turns yellow, then click again, then press escape. For the second objective, let's add pedestrians on the sidewalk. So go to more options and search for paths. Select pedestrians, then click create path. Left mouse click on the starting point. Then click again to create new nodes. Then press escape when you're done. Then let's do the same thing. Let's add another path here. Then press escape. Next, click on the yellow pin to add the pedestrians automatically. 
Then here, let's select pedestrians, unselect construction, miscellaneous, also unselect the others. Then we want to pick casual, then select a few names, as well as formal, also select a few names. Then click populate. Then let's do the same thing for the other path. Make sure to select other names so it won't be duplicated. Then click populate. Then click the pin again to increase the speed and position randomness. Let's change the approximate number to spawn to 5. Then click repopulate. Then disable show paths. For the last objective, let's add vehicles on the road. So go to more options, search for paths, then select vehicles, click create path, left mouse click on the starting point, then press escape when you're done. Click on the red pin and we want to duplicate this lane to the right. So in multi-lane right, type 1, then press enter. Then this is the spacing of the vehicles and the custom lane width. For example, let's change it to 6000. Then there will be more space in between the lanes. Next, let's add the vehicles. Only select the non-construction cars. Adjust the speed and position randomness. Then change the approximate number to spawn to 8, then click populate. Then for the vehicles respawn after, it means that for every 4 seconds, a new car will come to the path. We can change it to 3 seconds, then click repopulate. Lastly, disable show paths. Now, these are the 3 scenarios you can use the path system. Thank you for watching the video.